everybody. How are we doing? All right. So welcome to the John Wallace Winter Band Concert. My name is Brian Kelly. I'm the director of bands here. And I'm thrilled to have such a huge audience. This is fantastic. Um, so before we start, just want to let you know, fire exits are either side in the front and the back of the auditorium in the event that we do need them. The concert is going to be streamed live. So if you're a relative who couldn't be here, another town, another state, another country that would like to watch the concert live, you can text them right now. And all they have to do is go to YouTube under the search bar, just type in JWMS Music Department and it will pop right up. And you can watch this concert after the fact too and all our past concerts are there as well. So once again, YouTube under the search bar, type in JWMS Music Department. Okay, it's kind of cool. And we got to give um, credit to our student helper Chase, who is streaming this concert live for us. Thank you, Chase. So, a quick note to our students. So, we, you know, I do not like marathon concerts, so it's really up to you guys to really do the right thing when we're transitioning from group to group. So, we're going to make this as a quick transition as possible. So after jazz band, fifth grade band, you're gonna be up, you remember where to sit. We're gonna move slowly and quietly up here, up the stairs, and find your spot. Okay, sixth grade, same thing, and then seventh grade. All right, and we should be good to go. So uh, before we start, uh, we have some guests here that would like to say a few words. So I'd like to call up to the stage, and let's have a nice round of applause for our principal, Mr. Dias, and our superintendent, Dr. Brunick. for a number of years and it takes a lot of dedication to get to this point. But I do want to give a special bang out to the ladies and gentlemen behind me, the jazz band. They made a special trip in November down to Groton to attend the Caps and Kid Convention. And essentially everyone in the audience was either a superintendent or a board of education member. So for someone that you know like this, this could have been intimidating. This group knocked it out of the park. They got a standing ovation. To this day, I have superintendents from across the state telling me, Maureen, your band is amazing. They make my high school kids look like they don't know what they're doing. They, they have such skill and such tremendous amount of ability. So I went a couple weeks later and brought some cookies to them because I was like, thank you guys, you make me look so good all over the state of Connecticut. So I just want to give a special thanks to the jazz band, but the good news does not stop there. Mr. Diaz has another very important announcement regarding some of our talented youngsters. Thank you, Dr. Brava, and thank you again to all the parents and families who are coming out tonight and supporting our students. Uh, we really appreciate it. So, some other special news tonight, and I'm going to do that by reading a letter that um, Mr. Kelly received from the Connecticut Music Educators Association. Uh, so, dear Brian Kelly, congratulations. This letter is to inform you that both the John Wallace Middle School Jazz Band and the 7th, 8th grade concert band have been selected as showcase performance ensembles for the 2020 CMEA In-Service Conference. This is a very prestigious honor, not only for one ensemble to be uh, performing, but for two ensembles from uh, our school to be performing. It's quite an accomplishment. The letter goes on to read that your ensembles will be featured during the conference, which will take place at the Convention Center in Hartford uh, from April 2nd to the 4th. Uh, we'll be performing on April 2nd. This honor is granted to groups that perform at a high level for their age and strand, both technically and in regard to their repertoire selection. The Blind Hearing Committee selected your ensembles to be models for others around the state, and we look forward to your performances in April. Please accept my sincere congratulations to you and your ensemble members. So congratulations. Thank you very much. It's exciting, huh? Thank you. Thank you. 
You guys can smile, by the way. This is, this is pretty exciting, right? Yeah, all right, good, all right. But we're gonna kick off the program with a song called Bad Attitude.
The first row, please. Gonna come up this way.
So we're going to start off with the sixth grade band by introducing our sixth grade band president, Sasha. Well, we're in work. Playful themes then set the tone for a bright, faster section. The two styles collide as the faster section abruptly ends and the opening theme returns, then fades to a whisper. I hope you enjoy colliding visions. So fifth graders, you stand up if you play. Yeah, there we go. We are going to continue with a song called Russian Sailor's Dance.
session that will play out in this group. Sixth graders, would you please stand and be recognized? Sixth graders. And we have one fifth grader that's been on stage the whole night. She uh, was in the jazz band, fifth grade band, sixth grade band, and this band as well. So let's hear it for our fifth grader, Natalie. Before we introduce our next song, Mr. Bell, the Newington High School Marching Band director, would like to come up and say a few words about the Newington High School Marching Band. director of bands at Martin Keller Middle School, but I'm also the high school marching band director. But um, a lot of these students up here on stage are going to be doing course selections. I thought it was uh, important that we address that. Um, a couple of quick questions uh, that people usually ask me is, um, do you have to be a marching band if you're a band? Yes. Everyone at Symphonic Band at Wind Ensemble, unless you have some kind of medical excuse or something, will be part of the marching band. Uh, we meet one night a week and practice and put on a great show. Really, the pride of Newington and something that we hope that you're all going to be part of. So um, if that's a question. The other one is, that, um, you know, can I do sports and be a marching band? Yes. Um, over 40% of our marching band last fall um, did a fall sport. Uh, many of them are captains, um, co-captains, things like that, and, and they do a great job. We figure it out. It's not a problem. So I will be here afterwards. Ms. Mello's here also. She's in the back. We'll be down front. If you have any questions about marching band, we'll be happy to talk to you about them. She's one of the instructors as well, and also middle school band director at Brandy. So um, hopefully all of these students up here on stage will be excited. You see the great job they're doing, right? Mitch, what do you want to see? <laughs> started two years ago. Um, just putting a little plug in for that. Mr. Kelly is also one of the instructors. We do a great job with the kids during the summer. Um, we started two years ago, about 50 students. We have 100 last year and growing rapidly. We would really love to see it. it's a continuation of our summer music program. It's a two-week intensive uh, program in the middle of July with a performance at the end of each week. It's wonderful. Small ensembles, jazz band, two concert bands, um, many lessons. Uh, high school kids help out. Um, they have a great staff. So a really developing new website. We're ready pretty soon. We'll get that information out to you. And hopefully we can uh, get a lot of you involved in the summer band academy. Again, we can ask the march again. We'll be here to answer any questions after. I hope you um, enjoy the rest of the program, which is like fantastic. Yes? All right, so I'm going to introduce our band president, Katie, who will introduce our next sign. The next piece is a fusion of bluegrass music and the music of New Orleans. You will hear elements of Irish music and music heard in a New Orleans style form. The title Blue Ridge Real Peace homage to the Blue Ridge Mountains that extend from southern Pennsylvania all the way to Georgia. Please enjoy Blue Ridge Real.
this is like the fastest concert we've had. This is fantastic, really, please. So this is our last number. Before we play, uh, a number of thank yous to our administration, Mr. Dias, Mr. Turlo, our whole John Wallace staff for being so supportive of us, our administrator, Dr. Brown, all our central office administrators. We can't do it without support from up top and the parents and the board of it. So thank you all for helping us do what we can do with you. So thank you. So I want to just give you a quick heads up. We need to take a photo of this band for the program because they are performing at the Connecticut Convention Center. We have to make a really formal program. And this is the only spot where we can get a really good photo. So at the end of this song, I'm going to ask Mr. Salonia to come up and take a photo of the band. We have a ladder set up in the back row. So if you folks wouldn't mind just sticking around just for a little bit. Um, he's going to row K, if you're row K or row L, if you kindly find another seat because we have to get the ladder right in the center of row K to take the photo. Not now, but at the end of the concert, that would be a big help. Okay? And we have a birthday here. One of our trumpet players, Nicole, has her birthday. So happy birthday, Nicole. Our last number is Best of Lee. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
All right, thank you very much. So at this point, we're gonna have you guys stay where you are. You can stay where you are. We're gonna take a photo of the bands. Mr. Sloan is gonna come up, so Row K L. If you folks wouldn't mind, right in the middle, wouldn't mind just finding another seat to get a photo of the band real quick for the program. So thank you. Good, Mr. Sloan. Big stands all the way down.